So what did Mozart really look like? Well, his true appearance is surprisingly contentious. He's even been described as the most famous person whose true likeness is the least recognized. All of his portraits look a little different. His family members as well as historians have commented on this. His sister said that she had never seen so many portraits of her brother that were so different when seen side by side, but that nevertheless all looked like him. Alfred Einstein, a Mozart specialist, said, We have nothing to give us an idea of Mozart's physical appearance, except for a few mediocre canvases that don't even resemble each other. So what then is his true appearance? Well, let's start with some portraits that were created during his lifetime. This Della Croce portrait of the Mozart family was made from life around 1780 and gives us a good look at the young Wolfgang. He's also seen here in the Bologna portrait. And shockingly, he's only 14 in this image. His father said his son was ill the day this portrait was painted and that it wasn't even a good work of art, but he also added that it looked very much like him. Another is this unfinished image made by Mozart's brother-in-law, which Mozart's wife said was the most accurate image she had seen, but somehow looks the most different from all the others. We know some details from the people he lived and worked with. A colleague named Michael Kelly said that Mozart was very thin and pale and had abundant dark blonde hair. He was very fond of billiards and always won, drank punch with little moderation, and was a kind-hearted man with a good sense of humor. We also know that he had large blue eyes, a strong nose, and a head that was considered too big for his body. He was considered to be a sickly child. He'd had smallpox in his youth, which marked his face, and he suffered from poor dental health and toothaches. His poor health, I suspect, is the reason he always looks much older than his years in some of these portraits. His friends said that Mozart knew he was a man who wasn't exceptionally attractive, so he made up for it by wearing luxurious clothing and always caring meticulously about his appearance. One small indicator of possible self-consciousness is that we don't see his left ear in any paintings. You see, he had a defect of the left ear, which we now refer to as Mozart ear, that changed the shape quite drastically. He even made this watercolor image of it himself. I'm going to use the best quality image we have of Mozart to bring him to life. This 1819 version by Barbara Kraft. While it was not made from life, Kraft actually worked closely with Mozart's sister on this version to create a kind of definitive likeness. Kind of like what I try to do these days. She used three faithful works as models for this image. Kraft and Nannerl agreed that Mozart hadn't been painted by the most talented artists of his time. They wanted to have a good portrait of him. So, let's check out my recreation of the prodigy musician now. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you for the next video.